There's only one God and he ate the universe. If you think that's odd, then you need this verse. Abraham set out from Ur of the Chaldeans, right next to the Babylonian ruins. God showed him the stars in the sky as a promise. And after him there was a long list, generations and generations. From Israel all the way down the lineage to David, Israel means struggles with God because Jacob wrestled with the angel of the Lord. He had God pinned but God touched his hip and popped it right out of its socket. I know it's a weird way to get the blessing, but God's good at weird ways of testing. He was on his way to meet Esau, who became Edom. Jacob had grasped his heel on the way out of his mother's womb to freedom. And through his lineage came the holy priesthood through the tribe of Levi and the kingship through Judah. Prophets came and went, Elijah, Elisha, Isaiah, and David. All told of the coming Messiah in enigmatic writings to throw the devil off or the spiritual powers would have never ever put Jesus on the cross. Isaac and Jacob both met their wives at Wells, and no, that ain't no wives' tale. Jacob's well was near where Israel fell, where the kingdom split after Solomon's death and Rehoboam's rule. Israel and Judah had separate kingships, and the sin grew within both of these nations. They forsook God and worshipped worthless sticks. Hope was fading fast. Exile and punishment came at last. Israel was scattered on a lonely path. His struggle with God had failed and passed. Samaria was taken by the Assyrians. Jerusalem was taken by the Babylonians. To the Hebrews it seemed that all was lost. But the faithful knew what scripture taught. God would send his one and only son before the end of the day would come. And under his blood unite all the nations, whether first century Judea or 21st century America. Israel's story is long and complex, just like the story of every sinner who fails the test. But the story of history by God is left to show that he will not forsake us yet. Jesus met a Samaritan woman at Jacob's well, for long before Israel fell. He told her that the time had come when God would get the real worship that he wants. In the same way his ancestors found their brides, he offers his flock today the living water which is his life.